Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's plan with me is not a voiceover like I usually do. I just don't have the time to edit and then do a voiceover after because I have been very, very busy with designing kits for my May 1st release. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you a few things that I have been doing for my weeks. The first one is this tie that I got from a D stash of a few items from the Planner Society kit. This is for pen loops and I just took the band and I clipped it. So it's not a very pretty clip but this one is small enough so that it is able to be within the band so that it doesn't dent my Hobonichi week. So if you take that off, I have a few flags sticking up at the top. This is from this collection, also from Planner Society. So I think they're very pretty, very shabby chic. Today I'm planning the next week and this is what it looks like. It is the week of April 30th up until May 6th. So we are leaving April and this sticky note looks like this. And then the pen that I used to write on it is this. This is the Sharpie pen. I have had this for a long time. It's the fine tip. Works pretty well and I can see it right away because it's very pigmented. I think this one I wrote using a Sarasa clip pen and this is 0.4. So those are the pens that I use for pre-planning. And then this sticky note looks like this. And then this part is this. So it's kind of big. So these are two giant sticky notes. That's why there's only a few of them. Usually I'll use tinier sticky notes and then oh this one this sticky note is from this collection super cute so I'm gonna take out my sticky notes okay now that we have a clean page we are going to choose a kit that we are going to use so I have a few options here well I have two these are completely new. So I have the Floral Sundays kit for Hobonichi Weeks. This is what it looks like. This is so pretty. It says, with grace in her heart and flowers in her hair. So cute. And it says devotion right there. And then the other kit that I wanted to use is called Finding Florals. This is what it looks like. And this one says, anywhere you go, let, let me go to from that song. Oh my gosh, what is that song? Um, all I ask of you. I think I was singing that when I was designing this. Like it was stuck in my head for some reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one for this week. And then the one I'm not choosing, I am going to put in my A6. Very quickly, I'm just going to show you what I do for my A6 planner. So this is what my A6 planner looks like. I actually use the Hobonichi Weeks to decorate my A6 dailies. So I'm going to use that for a plan with me in my A6 that I am filming I do not know when, sometime soon. So I think I'm going to go with this for my weeks because if you noticed, I used April Flowers Weeks sticker kit and it kind of has the same color scheme as this and I want to switch it up to a different color scheme. Now this one is slightly bent because oh my gosh so we ordered new mats from Amazon. I must not have been reading it right. It was on sale. Pack of three already is discounted for being in a bundle and then there was an extra um, discount on top of that. I feel like I didn't read the description clearly and I just added it to cart and paid for it. They sent the mats. I mean, they are made for the Cameo. No problem with that. Made by the Cameo. All original. All good. Except that the type that we got was the newer one that has less stickiness than the original mats that they were making. I think that they are still making... I'm not so sure. But if I buy mats locally, they still sell or they only sell the version that is super sticky. So we thought that we were gonna get that. Turns out we didn't and we discovered too late. So we hadn't actually tried the newer version of the mats before because they were unavailable locally. I am in the Philippines. So we get maybe not the 
the most um, updated version of Cameo items. There are hacks that you can use where you don't have to use the mats from the Cameo, but we prefer to use the accessories that came with our Cameo for two reasons. One of them is that we like to support the brand and we only want to get the items or accessories that are specifically made for silhouette cameos. The second is that there is a large learning curve if you get accessories that are not specifically made for the cameo like you can get a cb09 blade and it works it should work better or the longevity is much better for the cb09 blades than the original cameo blades the black ones is what we use because we don't have to use the automatic because our cameo doesn't take that we don't have time and i particularly don't have the patience to deal with learning how to use it so those are the reasons why i mean other shops are able to do that we just we can't <laughs> we are happy with what cameo makes let's put it that way let's put the giant box down i am thinking of making a shop q a plan with me video if you have any questions feel free to comment down below i am relatively new in terms of international market we just recently got a lot of international orders and we are very very thankful very grateful for everyone who has ordered and if you have any questions or if you're interested in knowing more about our shop before you make your first purchase go ahead and leave a comment down below with your question you can also leave it in our instagram which is at paperjoyph and also in our fb page okay so the base or the foundation stickers are done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use these as well as these oh so for this release the newer ones i think eight to nine kits out of the planned so planned not sure if it's gonna happen planned 15 kits are going to have goals important and errands on the second page instead of more decos i got a comment from one of my fb posts which said that uh, maybe i should put in uh, the goals but I didn't want the goals to go in here. Oops. Haha. -ha. This is clearly a test print. I didn't want the goals to go in here because I wanted to have deco on there. So I put it on the other side together with important and errands. I think those are the most used words in planners. So that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do goals here. I'm going to first put this deco down. So I choose to put the deco at the corner because this is where it's hardest to write. That's also one of the things that helped me decide how to do my layout if a particular area of the planner is hard to write on and there are places like that in the planner then that's where majority of the deco will go. So this part of the planner is good. That's where you can write um, not, peace, not peacefully <laughs> with minimal um obstacles okay now let's put this deco here actually no that that might be too busy we can put it down here um a little challenging to write on in this corner i am sorry if i'm starting to mumble i know that's not good okay so i said i was gonna put down goals this one this one would look amazing with goals on top then goals so i just put it at the tail end of that sticker it's supposed to be a washi then i'm gonna place this heart mini box checklist those are gonna be my goals or should i put it here yeah yeah, yeah. i think i put it too low oh well it's super crooked are you annoyed i'm a little annoyed okay very carefully if you peel off a sticker you have to do it very carefully with this paper because sometimes by sometimes i mean all the time it will peel off part of the page and if you don't want that to happen then you have to be very careful that's cute okay what else are we gonna do um this week okay i could just put or write down goals here i'm gonna put this week here or goals this week why not i oh, know so these this is going to be for events of this week and then i'm gonna use 
these dots. That's why I put a lot of dots in here. Also because the decos, I feel like, will have more impact if they're bigger. So, two things for the shop instead of three. Okay, and then I could do... Do I have a deco? That will... Okay, yes. Wow. This kit is working perfectly with what I want to do. Let's move you. Important. So one important thing. And then maybe errands? I'm not sure because track goes here. So let's go down there. Track goes there. I may not be able to use the word here, the word errands, because this is my shop planner. Maybe I do have errands. I feel like everything I do for the shop is important. Okay, that's track. And then notes. Especially notes for next week. There we go. Oh my gosh, summer has hit with a vengeance and it's super hot. I'm sweating like a pig. Okay, I'm gonna take devotion. I'll put it here. Then I'm gonna put down weekend. My weekend banner. Oh, hold it on both sides. And make sure that it is not crooked before you press it down. And then I have this. So I'm keeping this free because I have to write down a very long list. Yeah, because this is gonna be May 1 new releases. I'm probably just gonna make orders for the next day. Which is Wednesday. So, no need to write anything on that. I love it. Okay, and I have one more box, which I'm going to put... I'm... S oh, we should have... Okay. Let's see if it will peel off right. I mean, it's a tiny, skinny sticker. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it like this. I'm sorry if you're annoyed with, like, uh, plan with me's that are not straight up like this because it's hard to put down stickers sometimes, most of the time. Okay, I have one more deco and today and to do, which goes up here, there. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Can't wait to take photos of this and post it on IG. If you want to see my spreads, make sure to follow us on IG because that is where I post all my spreads to do. That looks better. And that is a completed spread. If I was doing this by myself, five minutes and I'm done. But I'm filming. So what I'm going to do is choose a pen. I have two here. I have another pilot. This one has a green ink. It is called... Sorry, it's smudgy. Ch Chikurin. It's a pilot hero... Hiroshizuku. That's my favorite brand and type of ink ever. Actually, my favorite ink of all time is this. Kosumosu. So nice. It is pink. It looks red. See, I've used so much. That is currently in my Lamy, in my white Lamy, but I don't want to use it right now because I've been using it nonstop for the last few weeks. So I have two pens here. This is a pink one from wait, Platinum Preppy in 0.3. So it's a little thicker than the 0.2. I like the 0.2, but sometimes I feel like that's too thin. So I got this 0.3 and it is perfect. And then my Pilot Metropole has... Can you see? Will it focus? It has an F nib. I think I'm gonna use this because this has green ink and I want to tie it up with a green here so that the green will pop a little bit better. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to pull up my sticky notes.
that is it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try to trim this down as much as I can. And please follow us on our social media, on our IG, PaperJoyPH, as well as our Facebook, also PaperJoyPH. If you like any of the stuff and would like to purchase them, you can purchase them at paperjoyph.com. That is our website for international buyers. For local buyers, we have a Shopee account, shopee.ph slash paperjoyph. Automatic discounts still apply. If you purchase $20 or 1,000 pesos, you automatically get a discount of some percent. I forget. Goodness, that has been applied to the entirety of April and will carry on until May 15th. So if you want to get stuff and you, you are going to get a lot of stuff, you will get a lot of discounts on top of whatever discount we will have in the shop already. So that's discount on discount on discount. So I hope that you like what we have and you go ahead and purchase it. And if you do, thank you so much. And that is all for us once again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!